it's Michaela Eichenbaum for Dose. We're down here at Newport Beach, the infamous wedge behind me. Next to me, Bill Beaker Bryan, professional skimboarder. How you doing today, Bill? Good, thanks. What a day. It's just perfect for skimboarding. Um, a little small, but perfect for you. Let's get out there and do this. Awesome. Let's give it a try. Places that are good for skimboarding are like steep beaches, big cliffy areas, pounding shore break. That and the high tempo and the amount of rides you get and the fleeting like finless kind of multi-directional aspect as well as just being able to chill with your friends and family, run off for a wave, come back for another bite of your sandwich under, you know, under the umbrella and sit on your cooler and wait for the next set. And what else do you want? I'm reaching for the edge of the sun and I'm moving like a son of a gun. What do you think? Good conditions for a lesson? Yeah, it's pretty much perfect for you today. It's all warm and it's like little glassy peelers, but I recommend we boogie down south to Laguna and get some really nice secret spot all to ourselves. It'd be even better. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. All right, Michaela, this is it. This is your chance to shine on the slopes of South Laguna, the epicenter of the world for skimboarding. Right. Our little world starts right here. Yeah, when you throw your skimboard, it's a little bit like shooting a pool cue. The next thing we're going to really want to focus on is our timing. That's everything in skimboarding. If you want to float on the water, you want the water to be rushing up at you. First thing that we're going to do is get you Three, on the skimboard. Two, okay. one, now. Yeah. Woo. The hardest part is jumping on on the wet sand. That's the moment you're going to want to like be really sure that you're going to be like forward. Come on now, lean forward. <laughs> People know you through the Flow Rider. Tell me about some of the names and the guys that you've met along the way. Well, the uh, Flow Rider has been another blessing. That, um, the way that it's similar to skimboarding is how myself and other skimboarders were able to get some um, coverage riding that and some good results. Uh, I was lucky enough to go on tour with you know the best standing wave in the world with some of the best board riders in the world. But it's really kind of put myself and skimboarding on the map a few years back. And um, aside from that, I've just really been lucky enough to make friends with some of the top athletes in the world. And then we've kind of kept in touch people like Kelly Slater and Tony Hawk and Chris Miller. And we would get together on the wave machine and share ideas for training and fitness, too. It's really, really the best flat day fun you could ever have. <laughs> Anywhere that you have water, there's skim groups and, and um, Great Lakes and like Malaysia, even where you wouldn't think of surfing. At the same time, we ride skimboards places that they have big surf, like Cabo is like the epicenter. That's like our kind of North Shore of Oahu is the Cabo for skimboarding. Skimming's hot on the East Coast. We're big in Japan. South America is coming along. Brazil is one of the best places, but um, you know, like towing in skimboarding is really the new frontier. Places like Indonesia or Tahiti um, reef waves like Chopu that we've towed in on our skimboards is taking it to a new level. Beaker, where can we find your movies? You can find them at surf shops all over the world or iTunes. Good Call is, is out on iTunes and uh, Crunch Time is coming soon. Awesome. I can't wait to check them out. Hey, and uh, thanks for giving me a skimboarding lesson today. I had a blast. Right on. Glad you did. You did great, actually. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Dose.